right guys the lots of stacks from Gabro they look <laughs> beautiful I'm not gonna go into details right now why I'm installing them what I'm aiming to get from them what I'll do is jump with the installation and then I'm gonna go ride the bike and I'll do basically a motor vlog with them and I will review it live as I'm riding in the sea. If I actually feel a difference, if I have more acceleration on the low end, mid end or high end. Um, so let's go ahead and install this. And the only downside to this probably will be that once we install them, we won't be able to look at them anymore because they're gonna be underneath the tank. All right, let's go ahead and remove the seat. So we can get to the tank. You notice here <laughs> this is like a pattern that I did there's a wire I wired this here because I've heard a lot of stories of uh, this thing flying off so with this wire here this goes nowhere basically right, see on the side and go ahead and remove the tank I'll go ahead and remove this this is a three millimeter I didn't bring my ratchet, so let's do it this for now. All right, next will be one, two, three over here, eight millimeter socket. So let's remove these three. All right, eight millimeter socket. Screw it, there we go. Okay, next step, I'm gonna remove this side fairing here so we can have better access under the tank to remove the three hoses I believe under here so four millimeter talent for this one here and one underneath over here now, so one two three underneath this one two three See the latches basically from here, in there, from there, back in there. That way we can have access to the two hoses here. So let's start with that. All right, so now we're gonna lift the tank as much as we can over here. We're gonna remove these two hoses here. First one will be this one. For this, you just need regular pliers. For this, I'll let you know what we're gonna do. Pins this down, put it down there, and clip it. So this is good to go. There we go. Over there. And then this one will actually need. This is something that Aprilia uses a lot. This clamps over here. So we're gonna need this um, pliers. I don't remember what the name for it is. It it is, but um. We're gonna find out right now. I think it's then can't there. There you go. So basically this has an arrow. So when the arrow is to the right, it's for you to un unclamp it. And when it's to the left, it's where you can clamp it back together. There you go, see? This is extremely helpful guys. Like I don't even remember how much I bought this for. Probably add it to the description, but it's a lifesaver. If you're going to be working on your RS660 or any Aprilia, in depth, mechanically, you will need this pliers. I think I'm probably gonna clamp this back. That way we don't lose it. So you can also see better how it works. Clamps here. If you rotate it with arrow to the right, unclamps. 
<laughs> this tool, guys. You need this tool. All right. All right, now we're gonna lift the tank over here. There's two connections, one electrical and one hose. So this one, this wire over here, comes to this clip. We're gonna remove this, and then we're also gonna remove the main fuel line over here. Let's start with this. Okay, remove this, put this in place, and then this one, I'm sure it's gonna have some uh, spillage, I'm hoping not too much, so we'll find out. Okay, so for this, I'm gonna remove this clip. has like two sides here there we go it's difficult so there you go okay so whatever fuel is left here in the hose might spill just like you see here so to give you a better look these two sides you have to push them so I don't know if you can see a camera so they can open one here one here. Put this in the side. There we go. And remove the tank. There we go. Okay, now that the tank is off, we're gonna go ahead and remove these uh, one million screws for the airbox. So for that reason, I'm going to be using. An electric drill because it takes too much time so but before we do that we're gonna go ahead and disconnect the airbox uh, clip over here there we go so basically you just lift these two to remove it put it aside and start removing the screws screws are out, her box, there you go. We have our DNA air filter there, I'm gonna check it out, see if it's still clean. And our stock velocity stacks. Let's start removing these. All right, so to remove the velocity stacks, we need a four millimeter extended hex. You will need it extended because for the tall one on the left, it won't reach if you have a short one, so. Short ones should work, but you can add an extended one. So let's start by removing these. Oh, that was. All right, so the tall one will go on the left. There we go. And when we reuse the screws, and not only the screws, but we can reuse them with these inserts here. So basically, I can go in here, like this. And the same thing for the other one. There we go. So here, Gabbro designed a hole over here, so you can pass extended. Gorgeous. Close, close. 
car. Oh, hey, look at this. This looks gorgeous. You know what? I don't want to put the tank back. <laughs> I just want to find a way so I can see them. Yeah, they look great. Love it. All right, guys, let's go ahead and uh, install everything back. Say goodbye to these two fellas and uh, and I need to install the app map. Right, guys install is complete uh, what's next is installing the update for the app map I already have an app map installed but by purchasing the velocity stacks um, it comes with a coupon code to install the map for the velocity stacks I'm gonna do that I'm not gonna record it because I've already done a video of um, how to install an app map it's basically identical I'm gonna go through the same process and update the map take it for a ride and I will record the ride and upload a review so basically stand by for the part 2 video of this for review uh, of the losses stacks uh, yeah so guys thanks for watching uh, if you like the video hit a like if you want to see more videos subscribe it also helps me make more videos it motivates me to buy more parts for this bike and stay tuned until the next one peace <laughs>